guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to the finale of Sin Finger. Okay, so before we get started, this is the last time I have to apologize for this, because I've done it for the other two shows. I am sorry that I wasn't able to have this come out last Friday for you guys, or the following week for everybody else, because I needed a mini little break before I had started to do everything else. I've it's just been like, a, it was a long week. And plus it was Thanksgiving. And I was like, I knew I was going to be busy helping her with stuff. So I was like, yeah, I kind of like really don't have time right now to go ahead and cook stuff. And between cooking and then doing reactions for any other show that I had to do. So I was like, yeah, let me just put everything on hiatus for a week and then come back to it. But I am ready to see how season one ends. Let's hope that he can, can get her freaking girlfriend. Chris can be okay. And Subasa too, because I mean... Nobody's gonna die. Uh, no. Nah. Everybody's gonna be fine. Even though, yeah, that shit that happened at the beginning of the series. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, you know, down low. So let's just see how in the world this first season ends. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. I've been waiting all freaking day to do this. And I was like, I have like one other thing that I gotta do. And because today was uh, i was like okay i can only really do this i can't do this and bunny girl senpai so i gotta wait until thursday to do bunny girl senpai and i have to do it immediately after i'm done with no guns live Mm -mm. Plus, she gonna be hard headed. She gotta do it. Mm -hmm. Well, y'all should have went with Hina. Plus, he had no name, so he was gonna die no matter what. This is gonna literally take me an hour. I was supposed to start this at like nine o'clock, right? Because it's now nine fifty-four. Um, so I was like, okay, I'm all ready to go. I was about to watch episode eleven when I found out the um, I tried downloading episode twelve with eleven and thirteen, and twelve didn't finish downloading. And I was like, well, shit. I was like, if I finish eleven, I'm literally gonna have to stop for a couple of minutes. And go find 12 and then come back. And I said, okay, before we do that, I need to go out and find 12 again. So I, I ended up going to Kiss Anime since fucking GoGo -Go was being a bitch today. Um, downloaded it. It was kind of the same thing as Go. And then I was like, let me re-download it again. And then it finally worked. So, yeah. Everything's good. Just, mm. Don't make me cry with the finale. But I feel like you're probably going to make me cry. I think between this and then probably when I watch Bunny Girl Senpai on Thursday, I will be a hot mess. Like, it's going to be Friday. And I'm going to try to post Bunny Girl Senpai on Friday. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but <laughs> I'm going to be a hot ass mess. Because I've already been told that the movie is sad. And I'm like, nope, not ready for that. <laughs> And besides, this show has made me cry like once, twice, like boohoo tears. <laughs> okay, now that you don't see anybody else, go. You need to be safe. Mm hmm. You better not die. Is he gonna die? I don't want him to die. I like him too damn much. No, please hurry up and close that door. Mm? Ah! Right? I mean, thank God for Miku. Mm. 
<laughs> you fucking quarter man. Oh no, cause she's there. I mean, you know, it was kind of obvious. Not really. It took me like how many episodes to figure it out, but okay. That's why you can't trust women sometimes. You can't really trust anybody. You think taking a see, yeah. Mm -hmm. Bitch, what? Well, she gonna die. And go where? Me too. You just did the most dumbest thing, girl. Mm -hmm. It's coming. Mm -hmm. What? You, are you serious? If you would have just stayed the F down. No, I don't want you to die. Oh, thank God. Well, yeah, I mean, because we all knew you by real cool before, you know, you, we all found out you was the bad guy. But still... <laughs> Like I said, I knew there was something off that hairstyle and the way it was. It's like, mm. Mm. Okay, because I was about to say, you tell me with that one damn punch, he broke the eye. Like, mm. <laughs> there's no way in hell she's dead. Yeah, but that ordinary person is still kicking your ass. So, you know. Mm -hmm. This. <laughs> and you fell for that. Why are you like I didn't want that to happen. I thought he was just going to be punched in the face and then maybe be knocked out. Not bleed. Don't kill him. I mean, you know, just let him bleed out and then, you know, let him get help. That's it. Let him be like Heike from Maragatari because, you know, 
I don't need <laughs> I don't need him to die. I don't need Kaiki to die even though I'm like you have a lovely relationship with him and that still, but still uh, I'll be okay. The one time I wish he'd be here, anybody was here, but no. <sighs> Did she just say tower that pierced just heaven? You know, we doing Gurgon Lagoon up in this bitch. Okay. Yeah, I know, you don't believe it, right? I didn't believe it at first, too, but, I mean, come on. It made sense. And let me guess. Communications is down, too. So now you can't talk to... Now you can't read TV keys. Or Tsubasa. You guys are screwed. What can you do? Oh my god. The commander was the only one who kicked ass. I mean, the only one who kicked this shit. Just get to your damn girlfriend, girl. I swear to God. Please. <laughs> if you don't get to her. Don't trust that hoe. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> You know what I want to know? Then why in the world didn't her hair change when the first time it was like that down? Several episodes ago. It was still brown. It didn't fucking change. So, you know, that made me like, you know, hey, maybe it's not her. Huh? Yeah, so she got to learn every single freaking detail about each and every one of you. You let her to do the things that she got to do. She knew things even before. Yeah, and your hair went down. See? She never existed. Okay, never mind. Huh. Wait. Are we now going into fate ish? Like, uh, how the fuck? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. We're going into, like, Iskandar, you know, Iskandar taking over Rin's body, becoming her sister, but then having the personalities of both. What is this? Okay. Yeah, basically. I mean, yeah, just like it's kind of Rin, but you know, Rin is just like, yeah, it's okay with my body. It's okay. You can fight over it. She was a sacrifice. Did I just say Iskandar? Ishar. Oh my god. <laughs>
Well, goddamn, Fina, you is just a bitch. Like, I mean, goddamn. And I really wanted to like her. I can't like her now. No, you guys are going to be fine. God damn. It's just, oh God. Just walk a little faster. Come on. Come on. You would think these three would do something by now, but I understand that, yeah, you got to stand there for obvious reasons because it is final boss time. But honestly, you need to get your personas up in this bitch and kick some ass. Keep it key. I'm specifically talking to you, baby. <laughs> My Futaba needs to kick some butt. Yeah. Are, are, are we... we? Okay, we're talking about God. Okay. You honestly sound like Gru from Despicable Me wanting, well, I mean, Gru didn't really want to destroy the moon. He wanted to take the moon, but. Why don't we float your boat, right? Hey, but like, hold up, Fine. There's three of them and one of you. And if they work together, which we know they're going to, they are going to destroy your fucking ass and it's going to be fucking beautiful, bitch. Like, goodbye. I'm going to cry. I mean, you know what? I'm guessing how many minutes do I have left? Like, I got six minutes left. It doesn't seem like it's long, but it's gonna go by really quickly. Um, I'm scared. <laughs> Can we do a quick prayer to make sure nobody does their song, uh, swan song in these last three episodes? But I feel like he might do it. It makes me wonder, like, after this situation going into season two, would they possibly erase those three memories of her friends? They got it because they're it, okay. Hold up, like as much as I want them to continue going into the second season and letting um Miku's and Kibiki's friends like knowing everything. At the same time, I kind of don't want them to know certain things because the fact is they're normal girls. They shouldn't be knowing shit like this. But uh, I don't know. It's only episode eleven.
See, okay, hold on. Why didn't you just destroy the tower the first time? Because of that. This fucking Feeney bitch. I swear to God. Oh. Just reach it, please. Oh my God. Do not kill best girl, even though she's going to be fine. Don't do anything stupid. Chris! Oh, it's a butterfly. Damn it, Chris. No, you're giving me Grand Bellum feels. I don't like this. No, no, even though I know she's gonna be okay, I don't like this. Like, this is fucking good. I can't even cry. I don't know how to feel. Catcher, please. Oh my God, do not just fucking stand. I didn't like that cry either. I just got Tanya feels too. Oh my God. <laughs> When Joan was about to shoot her and she was talking about being ex, and the next thing you know, my best girl Victoria was like, Yes! <laughs> oh my god! I can't cry. I'm not gonna cry, but I'm upset, even though she's gonna be okay. But literally, that just gave me Graham Bellum feels like way too much. Like, if you haven't seen Graham Bellum, Oh my god, like, please go watch that show, and then, you know, come back, and, yeah, or go watch my reaction to it, because when my best girl, oh god, when my best girl went, that fucking hurt, and I even put it on Twitter, and I was just like, oh, like, why, like, this is the best moment, but then it's the saddest moment, because they're not together anymore, and she's gone, but she's still gonna be in her heart, but no, like, it was just so fucking much. It's just a good anime. It was, like, one of the most underrated shows of summer. Not even summer, yeah, of summer 2019. Please go watch it. Oh, you she's in the damn show. She's a bad guy, and she's fucking awesome, buddy, I'm just saying. But, okay, this, like, oh, God. Just seeing these three going against Fine, and I'm thinking, like, yeah, everything's gonna be fine. All three of them are going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this bitch. They're going to kick her ass, even though it's going to take, like, it's a three-parter episode. We're going to find out in 11 and 12 and 13. And now, since Chris is now, I'm not going to, she's out of the battle. She's MIA because of the fact is you're assuming that she's dead, even though I already know that she's not dead and ish like that because of the fact is people are like, oh, hey, yeah, like, when you see the next season... Da, 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 da. I think if I probably wasn't told that and I watched this, I, I probably would have been crying my ass off right now. I'm like, oh my god, Chris. <laughs> like, oh my god, like, potential best girl is now gone. What the fuck is happening? But, oh my, I can't. Like, Fine. Fine technically has one. 
she is like the Th- she's like Thanos right now, and you know, our Avengers is now one short, and there's only two left, and <laughs> I don't know what they're gonna pull out of their butt for these last two episodes. Like, I, I want them to do something where, like, I mean, technically, Subasa Subha- and Hibiki have come together multiple times, but I need them to become one. Do some like OP power thing, like something off of like Panty and Stalking or freaking Sailor Moon or Pretty Gear or something where it's like, okay, here's like the biggest OP move that we've been saving ever since episode one, but you haven't seen it and they're not going to show it until episode 13 because typically in any type of Magical Girl S show, and you kind of have to consider this a Magical Girl S show, even though I, I don't really consider it at times it has points in it a little bit, but not as much. Usually, like, the second to last episode of whatever season it is, that's usually when we find out how dramatically OP the main character girl, whether it's, you know, it's gonna be Hibiki, of course, because no matter what, how OP Hibiki is, and she's going to either have her rage mode and just go ballistic berserk, badass bitch or something. I don't know. I mean, I need her to just, like, Bring in her inner Tana, Tanya, her inner Futaba, her inner Madoka, her inner whatever other character she's played in so many freaking shows I've seen. Bring in all of her inner characters that she's playing <laughs> and just defeat this bitch because I don't like Fine and I need Fine to go. Like, girl, I mean, I feel like she's still gonna stick around because the fact is, as I said, I think in episodes 10 and, no, 10 and 9, 9 and 10 really, um, whoever becomes the villain after season 1, they're probably going to like hide her out underground and then essentially they're just gonna be like, okay, hey, you probably know the dirt on these people, tell us! Like, you know, just to have a reason to still keep her around because However, these last two episodes are specifically going to end with her being our main villain. I don't really assume it's going to be the last time we're going to see her, necessarily, because, I mean, I don't think, I, I don't really, would. I, uh, I wouldn't like it <laughs> if they killed her off and then something maybe that she possibly has planned for, like, maybe the next villain and she gets mentioned and then that's it and you're just like... Maybe it just would have been better if the new villain knew something or was working with her secretly, bails her out, and then, bam, they're working together until maybe she dies. I don't know. Fine might do some shit like that. But Fine is also the type of person, even though she was working with Chris for, like, the last, like, first few episodes and stuff, Fine is also that type of woman who was like, you know what, fuck it, you know, you gotta just say, I need to take some bitches out, and, you know, Chris was like, goodbye. She was just like, push. I don't need your ass anymore. And then that's why Chris was, you know, in her depressed phase and everything. But it was okay. She has friends now. She has TV and her bosses. Even though it was stuff. But yeah, go ahead and pause the video. And I will see you guys in one second for episode, oh, I'm about to say 11, 12. <laughs> okay. Episode 12 in three, two, one, go. Are you literally going to show? Yeah, they're going to show it again. I don't want to see it again. Honestly. Don't do it. See, that's so mean. <laughs> Why are you doing this? <sighs> I don't even think they're going to show the opening this time. Honestly, I don't want them to. Even though I like the opening. What if this whole episode is just literally, like, her POV or something like that? Like, the moment after she did that, falling down to the grass, really the ground, and... She's fine! She's fine, Miku! She's gonna be okay! Yeah, no, they're not gonna show it. I 
I know, but you can't be upset about this. She's going to be okay. Even though you don't know it, I know it, honey. It's going to be fine. Fuck you. Oh my god. Now see one CB can kick your ass. I mean that's on you. Honestly, I feel like Fina just wanted her to do that the whole entire time, but you know, hey. Of course. What else would she be doing? Come on, she probably experimented on you too. And Kanane. Probably Chris. Well. Does she honestly think that's all kind of fun? See, I want Tsubasa to snap her the fuck out of it, but... I mean, she left like a mark on her. I mean, damn. No, he, he don't attack her! I didn't want this either, but, you know. Yeah, okay, hold on. Hiku, you want to go out there and put Hibiki into her senses and get her back to normal? Be my freaking guest. I wouldn't want to go out there. Like, that's just me. No, Subasa, whatever you do, don't perform your song. I don't need you to get hurt. 
In the beginning, she did. Now, no, because they're friends and they freaking care about each other too much. And I don't like you. It might take a whole freaking episode just to snap her out of this. Maybe 15 minutes, I don't know. I'm trying to think of that. And now since Chris is MIA. Please snap out of it. Sebasa, I swear to God. No, you're not. You not no. No. Do I, I fucking swear to Christ, girl. Don't do it, because the last time you did it, you almost didn't survive, and I don't want you to do this again. Are you gonna hug her? Oh. At first, it wasn't what I was expecting. I thought she was going to use her song, but no. Well, yeah, because she's a badass bitch. This isn't going to go well. Like, as much as I want her to win, it's not going to happen. Freaking Supas is also going to lose against Fine, and then it's just going to be Hebe he. Ah, uh, Chris, if only you were here. I mean, because, like, yes, we all know Subasa can hold her motherfucking own. She's doing good, too. But I just want two girls to kick her ass instead of just one. Well, of course, you're just a distraction.
And I'm already crying. God, stop. Hey, Mickey, please get up. Hey, Mickey, please. Please tell me it's about I'm not supposed to. Can I use gonna come down? As it goes, oh my god, it's gonna be so okay. Oh yeah, she was the girl that said, yeah! The fact that this one little child is still remaining positive. There is hope in the world.
Oh, she's probably going to want to do something. Of course. Okay, but should someone else go with her just in case? I know, yeah, an adult can't do it, but she's just a kid. And you don't know how much a kid can do. I mean, just saying. I mean, honestly, you guys are breaking the fourth wall now. I mean, you all are anime characters, so... <laughs> She's been doing it ever since I started watching this dang series. Is that the school's national, like, their, their song, their school song? Come on, he was here. Well, of course she can. She's God. So, you know, she's going to pull something out of her. You want into like that, aren't you? I swear to God, you. Uh this ain't even the last episode. But if it was, you know I would have been pissed right now. I hate when you say it. Like, oh my God! Like to have those two up and at him, let me go and get the bag. And you're just like, mm -hmm, cut it off. Cut it off. Oh my god. Thank god. Uh, okay.
we're now going into yes here's the most op move we've had ever since episode one that we've been hiding for a very long time and because of the fact is that we have people watching us and they gotta cheer us on and it's finally here and they're all three of them are OP as fuck. <laughs> like honestly, I really thought what they were gonna do with this episode was if they were gonna well, they've already ended it on a goddamn cliffhanger. If they ended it on the cliffhanger where it was almost just about like he be key coming back into her own, if they ended it like that, I probably would have been, like, maybe a little bit more pissed. But <laughs> if they would have just, like, shown maybe something else where finally, like, Phoenix was like, yeah, I'm gonna kill her again once and for all, and I really mean it. Instead of, like, oh, yeah, like, here's everybody singing a song to wake Hibiki up to give her, like, you know, the strength to go on and carry on and, like, beat her but you know how like you know what a Hime with Ichigo or all my other favorite OTPs from like so many different animes when you know the protagonist is down and the only thing that they need is the love from their girlfriend or wife their future wife from ever because you know my best couple Ichigo and Orihime got together and I'm still happy about that but like so, it, it's always like that you have to have someone who they really care about which you know it's Miku so, of course, the girlfriend had to come in and be like, hey, babe, we okay? I'm okay, we're safe. We have other people. Just, you know, wake up. Come back. Save the world. And then, you know, come hug me. <laughs> I don't know. I'm getting too many feels with this. And then, you know, we're gonna get to the last episode, and then they're gonna hug, and then you're like, I'm sorry, and then they're just gonna cry, and I'm gonna be like, yeah. Oh my god, but it was good. It was really, really good. Now I just want to see... I don't want them to take the whole episode to do this, like, final battle is, but I think they're going to. If not, they're probably going to do, like, maybe the first, um, 12, maybe 13 minutes of this last battle. Fine finally getting defeated, and then the second half is just going to be them trying to restore the town and then getting back to their normal everyday lives. Who knows? But go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for the finale. Okay, final episode in three, two, one, go. They're doing most of the fighting. Not you guys. I think I kind of get a why they're talking telepathically. Um, Sailor Moon did an episode kind of like this, where, like, yeah, they died, but their spirits are still there. And so they're just fighting in, like, spirit form in a way. And then the see, is she talking telepathically too? What the fuck? Okay, never mind on what I just said a couple minutes ago. 
future. It's okay. You didn't mean to. I mean, okay, hold on, let me say this. If this is not inspiring me to do you like, you're like, hey, I want to be, you know, I swear to God. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, I mean, you can go ahead and end the episode now. I mean, even though it's only four minutes in. She about to stab herself? Well, uh, okay! If you just... Oh. Is she just gonna become one big giant noise? You're not serious, are you? Oh. Oh god, I'm getting fucking Medusa Fate Grand Order Babylona feels, and I'm kind of getting triggered. <laughs> I don't want that. Let's see, of course, she uses them to just block it. So see, now she's unstoppable. What the fuck are you guys going to do in the last, like, 17 minutes of this episode? You guys were so close. Hmm. My thing is, Chris, Shibata, what the fuck are you about to do? I mean, you don't want Hibiki to do this on her own. You need to be there with her. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's the end of days. Mm -hmm.
Da did you just cry? Not any chance. Got down. That's what they were trying to do. You okay? Oh, no. You got the hiccups. Oh, you poor baby. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> oh, you poor baby. You want some water? Let me give you. Wait, I gotta put water in the in the freaking cap that I don't use so you can have some. You're probably gonna be looking at this like what the heck? Here. Here, here, here. My God, Cody, don't do that again. Okay, there you go. You should be fine now. Okay. You all right now? See the call of the girlfriend, the welfare plate. Mm. And the best ones, but mainly the girlfriend. Now, if that don't kill her, I don't know what will. Did you get all the water, puppy? Put you down. Yeah, go lay down. This bitch. Come on, man. You had one chance.
Still going after that damn moon. And now that, like, that chunk of the moon is just gonna come down. Holy shit, bro. Her face ain't gonna fall off in a second, right? I, I don't want to see her face fall off. <laughs> Well, she's not coming back. Probably not for a while. Oh, yes. Keep going on to the ultimate sacrifice. Mm -hmm. This is good. Yep. This is the moment where he is going to supposedly die. But. But then why go up there by yourself? So Vasa and freaking Chris could have went with you, but then knowing her, she probably would have said no. She would have been, been like doing Sora, Kingdom Hearts stuff. Like, no, I got to do this on my own, Donald and Goofy. Let me do it by myself. And then just die. And then we don't see her again until <laughs> Tim Hogan season two. Thank you, God. I swear to God, it would have been so fucked up. <laughs> the Donald and Goofy of this show. Sorry, Donald and Goofy, you guys. Oh my God. Don't be.
Jesus Christ, Chris. And now they're all dead, right? Yeah. But no baby. Yep. Here's episode one all over again, guys. Three? Oh my god! Of course, because where else would they be? Damn, noise would still be here? Of course, one check would do that. Oh, fuck. Miku gonna get a simple gear, ain't she? Right here, right now, right? Right? No? Hibiki? Yeah? See? So the- okay, hold up. Are they- gonna at least explain what happened because <laughs> I mean hold on <laughs> because I can imagine when people watch this when this show came out or even if they watched it whenever this show was airing probably before season <laughs> last season came out please tell me like if they don't they you already show right there to me that you weren't gonna explain it right there Maybe in season two, episode one, if they really want to, they could just be like previously on season one of Simpo Gear, be like, hey, here's this moment over again with these three looking like they dead. They ain't dead. Because I, I want to know. Because assuming, like, if I had to watch that and not knowing that all three of these girls would have survived and just seeing that and being there with Miku crying my butt off too, and then seeing them be like, hold up, you ain't going to, like, at least explain what the fuck happened after you did all that, where you guys were. 
and shit because of the fact is I understand the commander had to keep hush hush quiet because of reasons and shit, but still, at the same time, she deserves to know that is her god forsaking girlfriend and they need to be together. Like that's the only thing. But okay, so final thoughts on season one. I really enjoyed this show a lot. Even though yes, I took my break last week and I was like, okay. We're going to watch these last three episodes together. And it was really good. It is a little bittersweet to not really not have Roko slash Fina in this show anymore. Since she is not the main villain anymore. We're now going to go on to someone else in season two. I still have a little bit of hope, maybe, that someone might do something to bring her back. I don't know how. I don't know what. Um, it possibly maybe won't be season two. So I could maybe say the last season that just came out, like, a couple a while ago, but I don't know. I mean, it was a damn good show. It, it's really good, different, but good. I, I mean, it kept me on my toes a lot of times because I think after I did episodes one and two together, and I still, it, it's kind of how I felt towards Penguin Drum in the beginning when I was watching like the first 12 episodes and then like the second half of it, I was more eh, I, but I didn't feel eh with this show. It yeah, it did keep me on my toes. It kept me excited. It kept me wanting more. It kept me, like, trying to figure out what could possibly happen. But still, at the same time, to know that Roko slash Fine was the villain, the same person. Like, honestly, I never really would have thought of it like that. Because I was looking at her the whole entire time and not thinking it. But then once, like, I looked at her one time, and I looked at her face, like, really, really closely. I didn't... It wasn't until... I don't know. I think it was maybe four, five, or six. It was before... um Essentially, they find they all find out and stuff and everything. So I want to say, yeah, between four, five, six, maybe even seven, that's when I officially was, like, finding out. And I was like, okay. But I went back one day, and I went, and I just looked at pictures of her from the episodes that I had watched. Because I didn't want to go on Google or anything and just to kind of get spoiled or anything. Because this is one of those shows that I don't really want to get spoiled on. And I feel like people, like, maybe when we get into season two, maybe someone's going to spoil me on something. I'm not 100% sure. But somebody's probably going to do something. And then I'm just going to be like, no. But I, I kept looking at the, both of the pictures of her as Fine and as Roko back to back. And then I made the assumption. I was like, I'm just going to keep that in myself until I find out. But then no, I was like, fuck it. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say how I feel. But it was really good. I do like the fact that we did have a villain who essentially was having a mask and she played both roles very well she kind of reminded me of typically like any you no know, persona 4 persona 5 protagonist i mean no antagonist typically where it's like oh hey the bad guy is essentially the good guy you know for the first half of the game or whatever but then you find out he's a bad guy because of certain reasons and then the next thing you know you gotta kill him or then something else happens to him and then you find out he's still alive persona 5r spoilers um, <laughs> but I mean, honestly, she was a really good villain and I don't know if they could possibly top her off or any villains that are going to come in from season two to the final season. I feel like every season, what they're going to probably do because Sailor Moon essentially did this because like Sailor Moon had Queen Barrel, then you had, uh, the Dark Moon, then you had the Black Moon Circus, Hold on. Queen Barrel, which is the Dark Kingdom, um, Black Moon Kingdom. Circus. I don't know. No, I'm missing one. There we go. Try again. It was the <laughs> Queen Barrel, then the <laughs> the Dark Moon, <laughs> the Dark Moon Kingdom, the Witches Five were really <laughs> Utaru. That's who I was missing. Then it's the Dark Moon Circus, and then it's a uh, Galaxia in the final season. So I feel like they're gonna do something like that, which each season of this show, the villains are gonna get bigger and badder. So like, I mean, Fine is just the one out of like the essential maybe how many villains that they're gonna have for this show. I don't think they're gonna do another villain where he or she might be like someone under the radar coming into the group pretending to be a good guy and then it'll be like, oh hey there's the bad guy. I don't really think they're going to do that. And honestly, I don't really want them to do that again because then it would be a lot easier to figure out, oh, hey, the newest person who just came into the group and da da da, -da is obviously the villain. That's like playing it too easy card. Let's not do that. Don't do that, please. But I don't know. They could literally do anything. I mean, this show is practically really, not even practically, it is over. It's been over for like, 
a couple of months now. So I really don't know what in the world they could do for like season two to season five. There's five seasons of this show. That's no, maybe I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not really going to know until maybe um, Friday or Saturday. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards season one of Simpoker. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially out next Friday for the, the, for the Patreons. And next Thursday for everybody else for Episodes 1 and 2 of Season 2. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.